Eli, what are we talking about today? You beat me to it. I was going to say something funny, but now the joke is gone. We're talking about... Well, what's the joke? I was going to say, dear listeners and viewers of Cinema New Phone, it has come to my attention that my uh, dry openings of asking Kylie what we were talking about every week are no longer funny and are unappreciated. Therefore, I instead will be announcing that today uh, we are talking about a movie, um, the name of which I have forgotten. Kylie, what are we talking about? This week? <laughs> Seriously, is that part of the joke, or yes. was that okay? <laughs> no, I'll say, I'll say it. I'll say it. I, I... I can never tell if you're joking. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's a me problem. Uh, It's it's a both of us. It takes two people to communicate, you know? Yeah. So today, we are talking about the 2021 film, the cinematic experience known as What Did You Eat Yesterday? What did you eat yesterday? (laughs) I think I remember that far back. I had arepas, so... Those were so good. Some homemade arepas. Uh Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Those, Those are good. so good. Comment below if you love arepas. Yeah. They're uh, so good. Put a, what, what, put a sunshine emoji if, yeah. you, if you love arepas. Yeah. <laughs> and then, or put the Venezuelan flag. <laughs> that too. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could identify that. No, wait. No, that's the Argentinian one. I don't know the Venezuelan flag. Oh, uh, well. Worse. Complete and absolute loser over right here. Well, I am American, which is basically... Playing at a disadvantage of knowing anything about the rest of the world. It's just total like black hole of knowledge. Yep. Of anything if besides. It doesn't affect us. American propaganda. <laughs> what? Spicy. Okay, so. <laughs> what? Well, wait. Is that we only ate arepas yesterday? That's it. We had curry too. Oh, we did have curry. That was good. And, and soup? soup. We had soup and curry. <sighs> we had soup twice. Yeah, and then curry. And curry. It was, good. it was good. Chocolate. We always have chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate and every day. And grapes. Oh, grapes. I want some grapes. You want, some, you want me to go get some grapes? No, I'm not going to eat on here. Why not? ASMR? Yeah. No. The mukbang. Well, well the, ASMR. they, they got uh, to gotta sign up to our Patreon. Yeah. Uh, at the, the 420 <laughs> tier for the ASMR experience. Is that $4.20 or $420? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll record every episode, but we'll do it. Really close to the microphone and whispering. Right. Okay. But don't do it now. No. No, that's that's a, that's behind the paywall. Shouldn't we give them like a preview? No, 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 no. Tantalize them. Okay. Titalize them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, d- did you want to discuss what this is, um, or, or did you want me to? I can go, and you'll fill in the gap. The what did you eat yesterday? I don't or, know. What did you eat yesterday? It's shut up. Is originally a manga. That was made into a drama television series that was made into this movie. Yes. So we watched the movie. The movie. Yes. We have no uh, prior knowledge Mm -mm. or viewing experience of either the drama or the manga. Right. The, The movie is a sequel of the drama. Yes. So like, and that all the characters reprise their roles. Yes. So they and I think it was the same director and. So I was gonna say the manga uh, is actually still running. Apparently, I didn't know that. Oh. Uh, it's been running for fifteen years since two thousand seven. It's written and illustrated by Fumi Yoshinaga. Uh, the drama ran in two thousand and nineteen for twelve episodes, and there were three different episode directors, but one of them did return to do the movie and the writer also returned so it's basically the same staff Mm -hmm. the director is kazuhito nakai and the writer is naoko adachi um and yeah the i did not realize until literally just now right now breaking news that the (laughs) manga is still running yeah i didn't know that so even though i researched it i didn't know wow yeah wow total loser wow um, but yeah, this was, so we went in without prior knowledge right. to, because the, the reason we did it that way was because we saw people saying you could watch this mm-hmm. without having seen the drama. So we did it like, uh, what was that movie? Don Ten? Don Ten? Yes. 
We yes. Did it, we did it like that. Yes. Instead of, we just watched the movie. Right. And I don't know. I felt like I didn't need the context. No, I think that's I, what... I think it would have been a more rich experience sure. if I had the context. Because my understanding is that a lot of the side characters mm-hmm. have more characterization in the drama. In the show. Okay. So yeah. that, that would make sense to me. Because, like... Aside from the main character, the two main characters, there was a little bit of like, who, who, <laughs> yeah, 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 because like like you said, we saw people saying that you can, you should watch the show first, but you can watch this without any prior knowledge yeah. and be fine. So we want we wanted to give you all the unique, the authentic experience of what what is it like not being exposed to anything up until the movie. And as far as I understand, like, as of recording this, mm-hmm. the subtitles only came out, like, in the past few months, the, the yeah. English subtitles. Um, so people were, like, super excited mm-hmm. to get the subtitles. Like That makes sense. As far as I, as far as I understand, this is, like, a pretty beloved, mm-hmm. like, series. Yeah, which, I mean, makes sense if it's been running for that long. It, it does, like, that it yeah. would have had enough time to build up. It does. And, and it, it, it was fun. Mm-hmm. It was really cute. So what is it about? Um, is... So it's about a gay couple living in Tokyo and their day-to-day life. Um, this is very slice of life. Oh, my gosh. Like the Shouts last one. Shouts out to the last week, Shiba Park. Yeah. <laughs> Night and day between the two of these. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hilariously. Um, but, um, one of them is a lawyer and one of them is a hairdresser, right? Yeah. Does, does he do hair or does, or he, does just he just work, work there? At the... I'm, I'm not sure. Well, cause his mom. So we did not have the context for that. Yeah, we did not but have the context. Cause like, I don't remember ever seeing him with a client. Right. So I'm but not. But he was always at, at the, the hair, hair salon. salon. And like his mom wanted him to take over her hair, her salon. hair salon, so, so it's like I assume mm-hmm. he is, but I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Let us know down below. Put a scissor emoji <laughs> if you made it this far. Okay. Because uh, hair hair cutting. Yeah, I got it. I'm just I'm explaining in case uh, anyone doesn't get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. So it's about yeah, it's about their daily life basically. I don't know what that was. I don't either. There's noise, uh, but we're going to ignore that. Uh, are we? I'm going to go check. You talk All to right. them. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm going to cut this part out. Um, let me just put a big old right in the middle so that I know where to cut it. Because I'm not actually going to keep this in the recording. Everyone's asleep. Must have been the wind been or the something. Wind. Okay. Okay, so we're back. And I'm just going to be loud for a second. That way I know where to start back. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, this is really cute. Um, and it is night and day from Shiba Park. <laughs> Shiba Park. Like, not, I, I mean. Because there are no dogs in this movie. There... That's the night and day. <laughs> Wait, really? Were there not a single dog? I don't remember any dogs. None there, come to mind. There might have been some in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but. Shiba Park was cute. It just was yeah. not. Go, go listen to that episode if you want to know why we have problems with cute dog movie. Yeah, cute dog movie that we'll probably never watch again and don't recommend you watching. Yeah. Okay. Watch this instead. Watch this instead. But why should people watch? Um, what did you eat yesterday? 2021. <laughs> what did you eat yesterday? I already told you. I'm I don't just, remember that far back. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, so. Did you have some thoughts? Oh, a very, uh, it's, that's what I was going to say. It's a very domestic movie. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Because it's like seventy five percent of the movie takes place in their apartment, in the their living room. Yeah, like it, or like living room slash kitchen slash right. dining room. Like it's right. all kind of all right there. Uh, also, I'm sorry if I'm jumping the gun. If you were going to talk about this later, but I kind of love that it's like half a cooking show. Yeah, no, we can talk about that, of course. Okay. Like in it, terms of its domesticity. Yes, like, it is. It is. It like. Which it I, is truly a cooking show. I imagine like, the drama is probably like that too. And the manga, I but, yeah, I don't know. But they're just like, by the way, here's here's a recipe. Like, like, like we just totally take a whole entire tonal shift. Yeah. Into like, 
and this is you got to get the water boiling and then you put these mm-hmm. in and you got to scoop out all the yeah. like little bits and pieces and like it, right. it it's like watching a cooking show like on YouTube or something. But I will say, okay, none of them are as soft spoken as Bob Ross, but in those segments, it's definitely like ASMR territory. Yeah, uh, it's just like uh, we're gonna talk really calmly, un- unintentional we're, ASMR. We're gonna hear all the noises of the cooking. Yeah, and, it was so nice. Know, it was like it was good. relaxing. It was yes. very good. It's very good. Yeah. So occasionally it'll just do that. Yeah, and like like the first time it happened, I was like, whoa, I I didn't know this was gonna happen. And then it happened but, again. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. It was fun, mm-hmm. it, and I feel like you can actually like learn a little bit, mm-hmm. not just about cooking, but Japanese cooking oh, specifically, definitely. because it was stuff that. Like, they were talking about black soybeans, and we had never heard about black soybeans. No, because we're fake fans. Because we're fake fans. Yeah. And um, we ended up in... We were in the Asian store yep. later. Like, a week later. Yeah, not even a not week Not even later. a week later. And we were like, oh, black soybeans, here mm-hmm. they are. Like, so that was cool. It was funny. Um, but yeah. Um, no, I, I, like, I like that a lot. And, I mean, obviously, it, it ties into the title. Mm-hmm. And, again, I don't know how it is in the original, mm-hmm. Z, but... Uh, it, it was fun. It, it, it was admittedly a bit jarring though. Like a little bit. the first time it happened, I was like, wait, what? Like, because it's com- a complete shift. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it goes from like, I don't know, like some things when you watch, like it's like, it goes from movie to cooking show. Yeah. Like, like instantly. Like instantly. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a little like, that was hard for me a little bit, like the shift over into right. it, but no, but but like once once I learned to expect it, it was it, it was, was cute, good. yeah. Yeah. Um, I think this movie is heavily about communication, mm-hmm. like definitely because almost all of the drama that happens in this movie is due to miscommunication or mm-hmm. lack of communication. Mm-hmm. So, which to be fair, like a lot of American. I, I guess rom-coms, but also just, like, not even comedies. Just, like, a lot of American romance stuff that I've been exposed to. Yes. That is where most of the drama comes from. Yes. But this was so much, like, better. Because it wasn't, um, it wasn't to the point of, like, I hate you and I'm leaving you and uh, I never want to see you again because I misinterpreted one thing or, like, you didn't say one thing. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of... A lot of American media that I've been exposed to like that really ramps it up, like the fallout of the miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Whereas this was like, it was almost like funny. Kind of, yeah. Like it was almost like, well, it felt more realistic. It did it, because it was like, honestly, if you know anything about like the t- different types of like personalities, like avoidant personality disorder or like mm-hmm. fearful personality, not disorder. Why did I say disorder? That's not I don't right. know. Avoidant personality or fearful personality. Mm-hmm. This is like a prime example of like those types of relationships <laughs> yes. display. And it was so funny because, I mean, I think a lot of people are going to be able to identify and like, uh, what's the word? I can relate. Come and relate, but it's not that word. It starts with an S, I think, but it doesn't matter. A lot of people are going to be able to feel a sense of solidarity. Ah, yes. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I just towards, to... <laughs> just goes <laughs> <laughs> towards the characters, right? Because I think I think it's really common for people to be like, "Oh, you're acting weird." You're going to leave me. Therefore, yeah. Like, to jump, like, to that catastrophic thinking. Absolutely. I mean, there's a reason that therapy is such a huge industry mm-hmm. and that people, like, need help with that type of thinking, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And it was, I just felt like it was really wholesome and very, like, down-to-earth and realistic. Oh, yeah. I, I really, really liked seeing a relationship on display, especially a gay relationship on display, mm-hmm. that wasn't about coming out, that wasn't oh about um, getting together or, mm-hmm. like, finding out that each other has feelings for each other. Mm-hmm. Like, not to say that there's not anything wrong with those and that those aren't important. Obviously, no. those are very important. But, but that's the majority of what's That's the majority of what's available. available. So this was just so refreshing that we have... Not just a couple, but a gay couple mm-hmm. who have been together. Yeah, and, and and they're older. They're older. Usually, those stories are about like teenagers. younger people. Yeah. I know. So it was just like, yeah, bring on the wrinkly people. That's what I want. I want the wrinkly people <laughs> who have been in relationships for ten plus years. Mm-hmm. 
Because that's what we are. Because, uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Wrinkly people <laughs> who've well, been in relationships for 10 plus years. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That, that, that even comes up, though, um, the age thing, because one of them, uh, a, a younger person in the movie, is like, uh-oh, you're developing a bald spot. Oh, yeah. And it becomes a thing that he's like, what? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm losing my hair? Because mm-hmm. he's like, he's getting older. He's getting to the mm-hmm. age where, like, if he's going to be affected by any sort of balding or anything, it's probably going to start happening, mm-hmm. you know? And that's <laughs> Relatable. treated, I, I mean, right? Ugh. That's treated as, like, a, a fairly big deal because it's a big deal to him. Yeah. You know? And I think that's... As somebody who especially works in the hair industry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, spoilers, I wasn't going to say which one it was. Oh, oops, sorry. Spoilers. Spoilers. No, it's fine. Um... But I think that that plays into the, like, domesticity that you're talking about, where it's, like, that's a big deal in this movie, Mm -hmm. you know? Well, I think think something important to note is that it is a a gay relationship coming from Japan that is not overly sexualized. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, because I think... And it's not all about both of them being sad. Yeah. I I think... Ride or die. (laughs) Ugh. I think... I, I think, like... In terms of specifically boy love, yeah. um, there is some contention there because is it necessarily representative of what a gay relationship is actually like? Because mm-hmm. it's written by women for women. Right. And I just, this felt a lot closer to home, you yeah. know, in terms of like realism and mm-hmm. again, now I am not gay. <laughs> right. I, so I can't speak, you know fully on that however i just i liked that because i i I think they're in in terms of like media coming from japan specifically Mm -hmm. is talking that that includes gay relationships it Mm -hmm. it is often overly sexualized yeah now i will say i felt kind of disappointed by this I, i don't know if everybody will there was like kiss teasing Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. I didn't really see the point for that. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like, I don't really know why this is here. Mm-hmm. It To me, it felt unnecessary and slightly awkward. Yeah. But that's my opinion. Yeah. I, I think that's probably more of a nitpick on my perspective than it actually affecting the movie or the watch experience. That's fair. No, I can, I, I can see that because it almost felt out of place a little bit. A little bit. A, yeah. a little bit. I think it felt out of place... Because they've been together so long. Mm -hmm. And, like, it was addressed, like, how one part, one person in the couple is, like, less out, Mm -hmm. you know? And, like, that isn't something that they're, like, as comfortable Comfortable. with. Yeah. Um, Which I think is, it's it's nice to see that in a relationship that, Mm -hmm. you know, like, even though... You're not necessarily. I don't. I don't know how to put this without sounding hmm. rude. I, like even though you're not necessarily living your authentic self, mm-hmm. like you're still with somebody who loves you for you. Yeah, like, I liked seeing that. Yeah, like yeah. Well, I think I think that's even something that um, as far as like my um, sphere of like exposure and understanding, you know, you're you're talking about. Japanese media, I think that even applies to a lot of American media. I think it's only really recently that we've gotten larger mainstream, uh, like, gay representation that seems authentic and that is, in a lot of cases, like, made by gay people. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of, I mean, even just, like, 20 years ago, like, the stuff that we were growing up on. It's always, like, either overly sexualized mm-hmm. or it's a joke. Yes. You know? <clears throat> so, or it's, like, in the background happens for just a split second and that, that's it. <laughs> Disney. Looking at you, Disney. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. It's, like, there's your gay representation. Right. It's far away and nobody notices it's it. It's small enough that it can be cut out for foreign markets that find that objectionable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh... So I think just in general, it's nicer to see more just kind of, it's like, it's not a big deal. Like, yeah. Well, and actually speaking about that, I think mm-hmm. one of the things that I really liked about this movie is that it, it really 
takes heteronormativity Mm -hmm. and pushes it out the window. Because these two characters aren't following following or taking part in any kind of, like, gender binary. No. You know, it, it, it... there's yeah. not the whole like, well, who wears the pants, you know? Right. Like it's that's not at all present in right. this, and it, that's really refreshing too. Yeah, because like the the one who his his affect would probably be labeled as more effeminate. Mm-hmm. He's not the one who does the cooking and the housework. Yeah, exactly. It's this really super straight laced, super straight laced lawyer mm-hmm. who is the one who like takes care of the home more or less Mm -hmm. and especially the cooking yeah and it's just like if you even want to define those of course as gender like no no but i mean like you're talking about about gender and gender roles and like typical but Mm -hmm. like even that is like it's a shoot basically exactly and that that is it's good yeah It's, it's it's good to see that yes yeah so i would say yeah watch this Mm -hmm. however I think if you can watch the series first, even though I haven't watched the series, so I can't speak for it, mm-hmm. I think this movie would be richer. Yeah. I just burped. <laughs> Save that content for the Patreon. <laughs> 420, 420 uh. subscribers. <laughs> uh, but it, it, it would probably be enriched by having the background. Yeah. I don't know for sure. And you can watch it are, without. Are we going to find out? Are we going to... Are we going to watch it? Maybe. And talk? Maybe. 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 Let us know in the Could comments. Uh, put a... Uh, isn't there like a pot with like little hot steam? I think so. Over? Put that one yeah. in there. Put yeah. a cooking... Something related to cooking. Yeah. In the... Yeah. In the comments. <laughs> yeah. We're just like... Just fill the comments with emojis. Yeah. Just all kinds of emojis. Yeah. Do it. It'll as long good. as they're cooking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let us know if you want us to talk about the series. Mm-hmm. Um, cause we've actually been thinking about watching some series mm-hmm. instead of movies, like strictly just yeah. movies. We actually hate movies. Yeah. We hate movies entirely. I don't know I, if you knew. I, I wish we could never watch a movie again. Yeah. 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 It's great. It's good. So if you enjoyed this content, um, we are on Spotify and YouTube. Hey, if you're listening on Spotify, we have a YouTube channel. It has a lot more content, like five years worth of content already on there that you can listen to as well it's not available on spotify and youtube hey did you know that we're on spotify and if it's easier for you to listen to a podcast on spotify you can find us there they release what? at the same time yeah what same, same day same yeah, time yeah, so exact same so you're not you're not gonna be missing anything nope. by following one or the other no nope. and anybody who wants that dank asmr burping content Oh, yeah, let us know. Do you want a Patreon? Four, 420 on Patreon. I love how we talk about Patreon and we don't, we don't have a Patreon. We don't have one at all. And we have absolutely, like, no plans Basically whatsoever. No, intention. no yeah. intention. Like, it's just like, yeah, Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, it's just, that's the thing. The that... figment of our Patreon. <laughs> it's part of the YouTuber experience. You have to plug your Patreon. You have to. Even if you don't have a Patreon. We also I actually have... do know some YouTubers who yeah. plug a Patreon or who used to, uh-huh. so their old videos plug a Patreon, right. and they don't have a Patreon anymore. Oh my gosh. So it's fascinating. Oh, that's, yeah, that's rough. Uh, well, I mean, it happens. Yeah. 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 So, uh, go download Raid Shadow Legends code Cinema Nippon 420. Be sure to caress the like button gently yep. and show it passionate care yeah annihilate that subscribe button <laughs> no for subscribe it's okay S- subscribe button for it. Oh. okay <laughs> <I can't. laughs>